Hi, 11th Science students. Welcome to Under Learning. So, basically, we have computer science or computer application exam. So, there are a few important points and there are many important questions. Right? So, basically, in the video, I will just go over what types of you may expect, what programs and compulsory questions you may have to say. That is why we share some material. Okay, so, first of all, you should understand, our question paper is part 1, 2, 3, 4. Part 1 is obviously 1 mark, so 15 1 marks. One mark. That is 2 mark questions, that is 12 marks. And the 2 marks are type of questions, define questions, that is a theory based questions. So define something like computer networks, microprocessor, and the questions. That is program related, like logic related, in the logic, you can do logic related questions and compulsory questions. Part 3, so 3 mark questions, 18 marks. So this is the same thing, there are theory based questions. Program is compulsory. What is the additional thing? Conversion. Number systems, number type, conversion. So, that is chapter 2. So, that is the mother type. For example, hexadecimal to decimal, decimal to octal, octal to binary, binary to hexa, whatever. Like all types of any type of conversion, all of them will be repeated. So, definitely, that is the 2 or 3 mark. Mostly, we will come to mainly 3 marks. So, that is definitely, that is a question. Next, let's see. Most important part that is 5 marks. So, what are the top 5 marks we are going to study? We are going to study a short sum and we are going to study that channel. That's why we are going to focus on chapter 1 and 2. You should study the whole chapter. Why? That's why 1 marks, 2 marks, 5 marks. We are going to study the chapter 1 and 2. So, we are going to study the chapter 1 and 2. That is one hint. Now, we are going to study the program based questions. So, 9 to 14 and 16 to 18. This is what we are going to study. That's why 9 to 14 is a book inside also. We have to be thorough. Like, send them to you. If you are sure, you can see book inside questions and all the program based questions. Okay. Another thing. In the compulsory questions, usually you can see the topics that you can see. So, you can see the string operation. So, obviously, you can see the string operation based on the programs. So, string operation. Then, you can see the 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 string operation. Array structures are 3 or 5 because it's a little more detailed. So, these two are very high chances. So, in the topics, you can definitely go to the topics. Okay. If you look at computer application students, you can see that in the previous year questions, I have repeated questions in the 11th year. Repeated questions are coming. We have computer science students. You can see the description and the pinned comment. You can see the mini material. And computer application students, you can see PYQs, like previous year questions with answers. Because you can see repeated questions. So, all the best. Good luck. And... I'll see you in the next video. Bye.